What is risk in the stock market? Well, let's turn to legendary investors Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger to answer this question. In this video, I'll share the research that's helping me make investment decisions right now. This is Andrew Stotts of A. Stotts Investment Research. Let's get started. Now, Warren Buffett says that risk comes from not knowing what you're doing. That's a pretty general risk that probably most of us are exposed to, but surely beginners are exposed to in the stock market. Charlie Munger says risk to us is number one, the risk of permanent loss of capital, or number two, the risk of inadequate return. Remember that wording, permanent loss of capital. Now, finally, Warren Buffett says rule number one, never lose money. Rule number two, don't forget rule number one. Now, of course, Buffett and Munger both have bought stocks that went down and they didn't sell it, they held it, but ultimately they held it because they thought it would come back. Now, it's also important to understand that Buffett and Munger are buying individual stocks. They're not looking at the general market. Right now, I'm going to look at the general market to help you understand about risk. So from what Munger and uh, what Buffett say, as well as my own experience, I'd say the big risk is buying a stock too high and then holding it as it falls. So how to avoid this risk? Well, buy low if you can. That would be the best case. The problem is that opportunity does not come often. <laughs> and next would be don't buy when the market's too high. Because the problem there, though, unfortunately, is that no one really knows when that is. Everybody's got their prediction and people saying, I'm out now. But someone could have been out for three years and the market's flying, right? Now, the next four charts will help you understand if you are buying low or too high. Now, there's four measures of value that we're going to go through. First one is enterprise value to earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization. It's also called EV to EBITDA. It measures, it's the measure of the whole value of the firm. Now, next is price to earnings ratio. It comes from the profit and loss statement or income statement of the company and its relative earnings that the company makes. Next comes price to book value, which is related to the balance sheet of the company. It's relative to the equity value in the balance sheet of the business. And finally, price to sales is price relative to revenue, regardless of the earnings. The company could be losing money. So let's go back to the beginning question of this presentation. What is risk in the stock market? Well, here we can see EV to EBITDA is significantly above the long-term 30-year average, and it's significantly above its prior peak. So, what is risk in the stock market? Buying too high? Up to you to decide if the market is too high. I'm not going to say, but I'm going to show you these charts to help you get your idea. What is risk in the stock market? Well, here is P.E., and we can see P.E. of almost 40 times, and that is higher than the past peak and much higher than the long-term average of about 22 times. Next, let's look at price to book value and ask the question, what is risk in the stock market? You remember I mentioned about permanent loss of capital. When you buy too high and then the share price falls, then you have a potential permanent loss of capital. Here we can see that the price to book value is almost at 17 times, and that is higher than the prior peak here in the U.S., and much higher than the long-term average of about 3.5. Now, all these charts are the U.S. stock market. So now, let's look at the final one, price to sales. And this one is uh, not yet at the prior peak. The prior peak was four times, and right now it's at about 3.2 times. It is, however, above the long-term average. So, what have you learned in this uh, video? Well, what is risk in the stock market? I would say that risk in the stock market is buying too high. Now, we considered four measures of risk, of understanding if you're buying too high. One was EV to EBITDA, another one was PE, another one was price to book, and another one was price to sales. So let's go back to where we started, Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger, and now it's up to you to make your decision and to understand what is risk in the stock market. So my question to you is, is the market too high? Do you run the risk of permanent capital loss? Let me know what you think in the comments.